To access the test file library, I can click on this icon. The screen that comes up shows me the test files that are stored in the instrument. At the bottom I can see some icons which are grayed out. When I select one of the test files shown on the list, we can see that most of those icons now become available. Let's go over each of these icons. When I click on this icon, it opens up that test file. I can see the data that's there in that test file by clicking on various tabs. If I want to use that test as a template and create a new test, I can do that by clicking on this icon. Let's go back into the test file library. If I want to delete this file, I can click on the delete icon provided here and then delete the test. If I want to restore it, I can click on this icon and then click on yes to undelete all the tests that I have deleted. There's a USB option here. This USB option becomes available only when you have a USB stick plugged into the instrument. When I click on this, I should be able to see the, the test files that are stored inside the USB stick. If I want to transfer a test file from the USB stick into the Torkoal, I can select it and then click on this icon here to transfer the file into the Torco. Now I can see that test file on the list here. This option is to transfer a test file into the USB stick from the Torco. So when I click on this, it says that the test file was transferred successfully. To exit the screen, you would click on this icon. Thank you for watching this technical support video from Megger.